now in our previous session we have seen how to fetch the image and how to display that image and also we have passed this proper paths okay for inside this profile.php for edit account i have created this get variable edit account for my orders i have created my orders and for delete account i have created delete account okay now first we are going to work on this pending orders let me just show you i'll just come to pending orders when i click on pending orders if the user is having some pending orders here i'll be getting this message you have four pending orders and when i click on this order details the order details will be displayed for me okay now first we are going to see how to display this thing and also we are going to see how to display this thing and later on when i click on this we are going to see how to display this particular orders okay for this we are just going to create one function let me just come here i'll just do control b and inside this functions i'll just minimize this one inside this common functions file i'm just going to create one function okay below this i'll just write one function i'll just give the function name as get user uh, order details below this i'm just going to create one function okay you can give any function name i'm just going to write here get user order details okay only for better understanding i'm writing such a long name if you want you can give whatever name you want you can give okay i'll just close this one function and this is the function name inside this first i'm just going to make this connection variable as global okay because we have already seen inside this function first we have to make this connection variable as global we are connecting with the database so we have to write this connection variable then below this i'm just going to access the session i'll just come here we have already created this session variable i'm just going to copy this and here i'm just going to paste okay inside this session variable whichever user is logged in that username will be stored and that username will be initialized to this one okay now here i am having session variable and also i am having connection variable once i get this one i am just going to write the query to access the id of the user so here i'll be writing one query i'll just write here get details inside this i am just going to write this query select star from select star from user table here i am just going to write the condition where username okay this is the column name where username is equal to this particular thing okay if this and this are getting matched only then i have to access that row once i have done this one i have to execute this query so here i'll be writing result query result query and inside this i'm just going to write this one my sql i query okay at this point of time you should be very familiar with this pattern then i'm just going to write this connection and second i'm just going to pass this variable i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to paste okay what i have done i have just created the function made the connection variable as global access the session variable stored inside this variable writing the query to select the username if this username and if this username is getting matched inside the database i am just fetching that one and here i am just going to execute this query now what i am going to do i am just going to fetch that user so here i'll be writing while okay if you want you can okay if you don't give while then also no problem as of now i'm just going to write here while loop and inside this i'll just write here row query is equal to my sql i fetch array we are having my sql i fetch asoc and my sql i fetch array i'm just going to write here my sql i fetch fetch array inside this i'm just going to pass this variable okay wherever we have executed our query i'm just going to pass that variable here now what i'm going to do i'm just going to fetch the user id okay i'll just remove this things now from user table i'm just going to access the user id you can see we are having this user id user id is equal to 1 so for that i'm just going to create one variable the user id is equal to row query and inside this i'm just going to pass the column name okay, i'll just write here square brackets and here i'm just going to write here user id okay now what i have done i'm just fetching the data from the database now inside this whichever user is logged in that user id will be stored inside this variable now once i have this one now let me just come to demo project whenever i click on this pending orders you can see here i am having this data and inside this i am having this profile.php but when i click on this edit account you can see inside this i am having this edit account when i click on my orders inside this i am having my orders when i click on delete account inside this i am having this thing but when i click on pending orders here i don't have any get variable so for that what i am going to do i am just going to check for the conditions here 
here i will be writing if not is set what i am telling if this particular get variable is not set only then i have to display that data okay our get variable is stored let me just write here get and inside this first i am just going to write here edit account okay this is the get variable whenever i click on edit account this will be displayed for me i'll open this one again i'll just copy the same if here i'll be pasting that one now instead of edit account we are having my orders okay these are nothing but whatever variable we have passed here okay this one this one whatever we are passing here i'm just passing that one there i'll copy this one and here i'm just going to open this if again i'm just going to paste this one Okay, let me just paste this delete account i'll copy this if from here and below this i'm going to paste i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste okay what i'm telling if this is not set 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 only then i have to display that pending orders now inside this i'm just going to write the query and i'm just going to access the data from the user orders table so here i'll be writing the query i'll just write here get orders okay from orders itself i have to count how many orders that user is having so here i am having get orders is equal to i'll just write here select star from user orders now i'm just going to give the wait condition where user id okay inside this user orders also we have stored the user id where user id is equal to this particular id okay whatever we have access from the user table if this is getting matched only then i have to access that one let me just come to user orders you can see we are having user id 1 user id 1 user id 1 and all the three items will be accessed for me and here i'm just going to give here and operator and okay i have to see pending orders so here i'm just giving and operator okay if both the conditions are true only then i have to access the data and here i'll be writing order status if order status is equal to pending only then i have to access this one let me just show you i'll come here inside this you can see our order status is pending and user id is 1 as of now we are working with only one user so here i am having only one user id and this user has ordered three times so here i am having all these three items now order status is pending if both are true only then i'll be getting result from here after this i have to execute this query i'll copy this and here i'm going to paste and instead of this result query i'll just write here result orders query then i'll just copy this variable and here i'm just going to paste now from here i'm just going to get three rows now what i'm going to do i'm just going to count how many rows i got so for that i'll just write here row count because i have to display you have pending orders you have dash pending orders so for that i just have to count this one here i'll be writing my sql i num rows and inside this i'm just going to copy this variable and here i'm just going to paste that one now using this i'll be getting three records and if i count this one i'll be getting three as my result here now if i am having some rows okay here i'll be writing one condition if my row count if it is greater than 0 which means i'm having the user as well as i'm having some pending orders so if this is greater than 0 then here i just want to display this one i'll just write here h3 i'll be closing this h3 and also i'm just going to write here semicolon inside this i'll be writing you have and here i'm just going to write one span tag and for span i'm just going to write here class class i'll just write here text danger okay that will print in green uh, red color text danger and inside this i'm just going to pass this variable i'll copy this and here i'm going to paste and i'll just close this span tag you have suppose i'm having 3 then you have three pending orders here i'll be writing pending orders and for this h3 i'll just write here class and class is nothing but text center i want the text in the middle so here i'm just going to write here text center i'll save this okay here let me just change the spelling row count i'll save this now i'll come here now if i refresh this one it is not going to work because i have not called this function yet i'll copy this function and inside this profile.php okay inside this diff container i'm just going to write here php code i'll call this function here i'll close this php i'll save this now i'll refresh this one now you can see you have three pending orders because this user is having three orders you can see three all the three orders are pending so that data has been displayed for me and below this i should be getting if user is not having any orders then i should be getting you have zero pending orders and also i should be getting here order details okay let me just give some space as well now here 
after this i'm just going to give one space and for this instead of uh, here i'm just going to write a text success i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see you have three pending orders if you want to give any margin any padding okay based on your requirement whatever you want you can give let me just write here margin top and bottom five i'll refresh this here i'm having some spacing now below that here i'm having order details let me just write here here i'm just going to write here anchor tag inside this anchor i'll be writing here profile.php and here i'm just going to write my orders okay whenever i click on this this variable should be active and i should be getting the data i'll just wrap inside single quotes and here inside this i'm just going to write here order details i'll save this i'll refresh this okay let me just refresh my project okay here i'm having syntax error and token 376 let me just check okay here i just i'll just close this and here i'm just going to close this one i'll save this now if i refresh this okay here i'm having you can see here i'm having order details and all the data has been displayed but this also i want in the middle so what i'm going to do i'll just wrap inside one paragraph and here i'll be closing this paragraph and for this i'm just going to give the same class class is equal to text center okay if you want you can wrap inside one diff container as well now if i refresh this you can see this is in the middle i'm just going to change the color for this anchor tag i'll just give the class class i'll be giving here text dark i'll save this now if i refresh this one the color is been changed okay if you don't want to give margin on bottom you can remove this one top i am just going to give here 5 and bottom i'll just give some uh, i'll just give here 2 okay because i'm having large margin here i'll refresh this now here i'm having you have three pending orders and order details when i click on order details this session variable okay this get variable is active and using that the data should be displayed okay later on we are going to work on that but this is working completely fine now what if if my row count is less than zero okay that is greater less than zero or equal to zero then this is if and here i'm just going to write here else if that is not there then instead of this let me just copy the same thing here i'm going to paste now here i'm just going to write you have i'll just remove this span you have zero pending orders you have zero pending orders and instead of this here i'm just going to write index.php file I'll be writing index.php and instead of order details, I'm just going to write here explore, explore uh, products. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now it will not be visible. I'll just delete this table. Okay, whatever data I'm having inside this table, user orders, I'm just going to delete this one. Okay. Now inside this user orders, I don't have anything. This table is completely empty. Now my row count is less than zero. Now if I refresh this, you can see you have zero pending orders and here I'm having explore products. Now when I click on this, I will be redirected to home page. Okay, this is how we are going to work. We are done with this pending orders. Next, what we are going to see, we are going to work with this editing account, my orders, how to see this my orders. When I click on this my orders, how to display that entire table okay this entire thing we are going to see okay first you have to make this one if you are having okay now suppose let me just come to home now here i have added one item okay i'll come to cart i'll click on checkout pay offline payment order is submitted okay you can see you have one pending order okay this is how it is going to work dynamic data whatever we are having this is completely dynamic this is not the static data whatever and how many orders we are having inside the database that many orders will be displayed here and also whatever data we are having there okay this entire data let me just refresh this one whatever data we are having here this entire orders we are just going to display here whenever i click on this all the orders should be displayed for me okay next we are going to work on the remaining sessions